I was really excited to get my Galaxy Note 8, and I've been playing around with it and doing a lot of tests, so I decided to do some video tests. And I did it with and without stabilization, with and without a gimbal, a Zion Smooth Q, and just for grins, I compared it to my GH5. With, sta with stabilization on a windy day. So while a stabilization works, as you can see here, there's some warpy Walking looking slowly. things going on that I don't really like. Of course, everything here was shot in 4K, so that may have some impact on the performance. But if you stand in one place with two hands and do a slow pan, it does all right. However, I'm still seeing some jerkiness in the video, so now I'm going to switch and try it at 1080p. And again, there's a slight breeze. Okay, I'm back to 1080p, 60 frame per second. And everything looks really smooth. And if I wiggle the uh, camera, you see some motion, but it does some stabilization, whereas in the 4K, it would get all warped looking. So I think the secret here is if you're gonna be walking around, probably want to use 1080p and I'm using 60 frames per second so I'm panning again trying to keep everything flat walk smoothly autofocus come on autofocus there you go those are lemons by the way they haven't turned yellow yet and autofocus there, I had to touch the screen. But, I'm two-stepping here. Stabilization seems to work. So now I'm switching back to 4K, but I'm using a gimbal. The Zion Q is a inexpensive phone gimbal. And as you can see, it's pretty stable. But since I'm shooting in 4K, it's still got that slight jerkiness when there's motion that you don't see with a 1080p 60 frames per second. Having said that, this shot is pretty stable. So I would recommend using a gimbal if you plan on walking around or doing any kind of mo motion or movement. So this is my Panasonic GH5. Just did a comparison handheld versus the Galaxy Note 8 with the Zion Q stabilizer. So I'm not really comparing video here other than the stabilization part. So this is handheld. You can see a pan there. Walk towards the lemons. Uh, tripping on something and then do a slow pan across the flowers walking slowly again the purpose here is not to directly compare the GH5 to the Note 8 but just to show that what's possible with in lens and in body stabilization. And this is all with one hand and sometimes two when I'm walking. Okay, now I've got the GH5 with the image stabilization in lens as well as in body, so it's dual stabilization. And I'm walking between the flowers, do a slow pan. Like that. And then walk towards the lemons. Trying to hold this as steady as possible by walking. And then doing the flyby single handed of the flowers. And so, as you can see here, I think this is almost close to the 
Note 8 with a gimbal. Not quite, but uh, pretty good and certainly way better than a Note 8 handheld. Anyway, so there is dual IS in a high-end mirrorless. My Note 8 handheld, 1080p, 60 frames per second, and I can't hold it completely steady, so there's a little. I'm seeing a little vibration here, and uh, of course there's the cat relaxing. I'm going to do a pan. walking gingerly. So I believe as you can see here, when you do 1080p 60 frame per second, you get a fairly stable view and it's pretty close. But uh, compared to the 4K, this is a huge improvement. So here's the Note 8 again, different shot with the Zion Smooth Q gimbal attached. I think you can tell from this, it's pretty obvious that if you want to really be serious about video with a phone, you need a gimbal. However, what I'm noticing is while the shot is really steady, any motion in the video with 4K seems to make it really jerky. So I would still tend to use 1080p, 60 frames per second on a phone. So in my humble opinion, I would not use 4K video on a phone if you plan on doing a lot of moving around or there's a lot of movement in the shot. For static shots, it gives great looking video, but again, you gotta think about your subject matter. Again, in 4K, I'm still seeing some jerkiness even though the gimbal is keeping the image pretty flat and steady. Just as a comparison, I'm going to switch to my fancy GH5 and show you what's possible with that. Now we're going to do the same test with the GH5 and the Zion Crane gimbal. Designed for small DSLRs in a mirrorless camera like this. Walking. Where is here? And I think this is not a state. So you may think this is a ridiculous test, but I learned several things from these comparisons. One is unless you have a gimbal for your phone, don't be walking around with it because any movement outside of just two-handed holding and panning uh, with or without stabilization just isn't very good on the Note 8. Uh, as you can see with the Crane, excuse me, with the uh, Zion Smooth Q, it actually looked pretty darn good. And then of course with the GH5, you almost don't need a stabilizer but with the gimbal on the GH5, you really do get buttery smooth and you can move around quite a bit. So anyway, that's just a bracket of several clips I took. Hopefully you learned something. Thank you. Please leave your comments below. This test is meant to generate conversation. Put a like if you want. I don't commercialize. It'll just make me feel good. Bye-bye.